I haven't played six max cash in a hot minute. So let's just make sure that I'm playing all right. Interesting spot to uh, to lead small, by the way. Fascinating spot. Instantly off the bat. Something I just had a conversation with. That exact spot with Yuri Pelly. Conversation coming out soon. Um, I'm just going to check the coin for the lobby. See what time I can raise. Like, all right, so that's eight. So we've got two hours of playing, playing some poker. Two hours of playing some poker. Then we've got to play some heads up and give you beautiful people. The first chunk of the $10,000 that I'm giving away to my audience. You could be part of the second and third and fourth chunk if you weren't part of the first. All right. I've just been playing a bunch of heads up. The fuck is that? Uh, so all of these hands are looking kind of pretty. I got to I got to remember we're we're playing we're playing six max at the moment. that open let's get the chat going pop out chat boom 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 hell yeah open in straight drawer against probably a professional although he did flat the button so you never know sizing is very uh, very dubious We're going to be running into a value hand here a lot. When it goes that big into two people. <clears throat> and it could be the kind of value hand that people are not very good at folding as well. So I had I had a couple of hundred dollars on my on my stars account. And I've been uh, playing some heads up to grind it up. <laughs> nice, I'm gonna flush this. And uh, yeah, we got up to we we're up to like one point something k. Okay, we're doing we're doing another fucking challenge, uh, but it's not actually an official challenge or anything. Let's just fold that. Gonna be raising this one up, going bigger than I would with a bluff hit. <clears throat> he doesn't know that it still looks reasonably small. So it would make sense for this board. I think he's probably just going to end up. Yeah, he's going to end up shoving a, uh, a decent amount. The fourth diamond. Very interesting card. Um, we're going to do that. We're going to do that. I think that my, it, I'm kind of protected here. Kind of protected here. Uh, he also, if he has the ace of diamonds, will probably just want to fucking let me bluff. I can't imagine he should shove anything there at all. And I do think there's a chance we just get called by aces, no diamond here. Ace, queen, and queen, diamonds. Nice hand, my friend. All right, who threw the tissues? What was his name? Let's fuck him up. Kohilo, you're dead to me. You're getting so many emojis thrown at you now, my friend. You're, you're in for a fucking rumble in the jungle. Very small C bet. Very, very small C bet. With this guy in the pot, we can get away with it. Yeah, we're out of there. And we're out of there. What's up, cash only? What's up, my friends? And we're out of there. Let's put that on. Big sizing with Valley. That's how we like to do it. People ain't folders. Thanks, Andy. Thanks, brother. All right. Against a recreational player, min raising under the gun, 10 6 off. Why fucking not? Are we now going to try? And I feel like I'm already back in it, by the way. I've played so much. I've played so much 6 max cash. And, you know, I thought it was going to take me a couple of seconds to adjust, but. I feel like I'm just back in it already. E, thanks, Toro. E, ah, oh, he doesn't love me that much. No, 
it doesn't love me enough to call a fold. I think I'm a discipline fold they were listening. Is this not the bankroll challenge? What happened to it? Uh, it could be. We could make it a bankroll challenge, like part of the bankroll challenge. Basically, I've recorded like 40 episodes of the bankroll challenge. And I've not released it yet due to some uh, some strategy with getting a, getting a course out, getting, getting a new version of it out. Uh, on my website, eliteuniversity.co.uk, by the way, you have like a little bit more time if you want to get a year's access. Super cheap at the, the first price. Go check out eliteuniversity.co.uk. Uh, I should probably have something that says that on the fucking thing. Yeah, do it later. How long until free roll? I need to walk dogs. Uh, so the free roll is currently already going on. Uh, the people will actually be playing for the money in two hours. So if you haven't joined the free roll, you can join next week. And by the way, this is so funny. I don't know if it's still happening. Yeah, 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 it's still happening. Check check this out. Oh, as I don't time out ages. Um, so this is, this is one of the tables. There are many tables like this. Literally everybody is sitting out. Look at this. Everybody and their aunt is sitting out. Uh, so <laughs> would strongly recommend playing my free roll for next week where you can literally just scoop up stacks because, um, people didn't know it was on, you know, people signed up through my affiliate ages ago and they automatically registered for the, for the thing. And the top five players they're going to get a chance to play me for $500 and I should uh, label him a red because he knows where I am and he likes me which means he's probably good um, and we're going to do that for four weeks only exclusively for people who are under my affiliate and uh, if somebody doesn't win this week the money will then go on to the next week so if one person doesn't win this week then top plate the first person who comes first in the tournament next week will um we'll play for a thousand dollars etc so uh, we could build up some fucking you know if i if i crush and i've been practicing some heads up if i if i end up crushing the people we could be playing for a lot more every single week uh we're gonna we're gonna make a very loose open with uh labeled recreational player on uh in the big blind this is probably too loose don't do this at home but we have isolated him we have done exactly what we intended to do these are the kind of boards that you can really get a lot of overfolds on on turns. So I am going to be C betting there with a very wide range against recreational players and against professionals. You can get a lot of overfolds by going like 3x pot on the turn. Worth noting, they end up check raising the flop with their sets and two pairs. And then on the return, they're like, oh, I've only got queen jack. And then you go 3x pot and they're like, huh? Sorry, dealer, can you, can you count that out one more time? Can you count that out? Can you say first? Imagine the vaccine's so safe. You're like, you're like tenth. All right, we're gonna we're gonna raise this up to seven x. Uh, we're gonna make a small c bet, knowing we're gonna be blasting the turn. We were gonna be shoving the river that that time. Usually, I don't like to shove rooms as a bluff against recreational players, but there were so many like queen tens, jack tens, and stuff in there that we were gonna be shoving it. Man, I can't even remember my fucking six max. I've just been playing a few days of heads up and tournaments and stuff like that. I can't even remember my fucking six max ranges. What do I defend against two and a half X against? Like, I don't fucking know. This is a different break structure to GG. I don't fucking know. Uh, let's go four. There's a lot of thought that went into that, by the way. There's a lot of thought that went into a four, four fifty, or five, or whatever. What time is it next week? Same time every week. Uh, so whatever day it is, uh, 4 p.m. UK time. So Wednesday, 4 p.m. UK time, BST. Uh, I'll be giving away at least $2,500 and very likely more.
So you just got to sign up through my affiliate and you'll be instantly, and you have to verify your account by the way, which is not hard to do. But you'll be instantly part of the part of the tournament. They'll just put you in there. All right, here against the three X, going to be going a little bit bigger. Sad, sad flop. Eh, not the saddest, saddest flop. I take it back. Fascinating. Going to quickly call. And then we're going to fold it. Very hard for a recreational player to find bluffs here. All right, we have the whole board here. We'll let him, we'll let him bluff if he wants to bluff. He's got some seven eights. He's got some six eights. He's got some six sevens. Every now and again, he might have a five. Check call. Six eight gets there. It's not a spot people bluff too often, honestly. I'll be I'll be impressed if he turns up with a seven eight bluff in. I think it's not a spot that people bluff very often. Fucking night. This is this by the way, if he does turn up value, it's a very nice spot to be me. Uh, unless it's nines, obviously. But it's a very nice spot to be me because if there's anybody that can find a bluff here, it's me. And if he knows who I am, which he probably should. He knows that I'm capable of bluffing here. Bro, you're getting two you're getting a million to one. You gotta put forty four in to win two hundred and fucking whatever. And it's Charlie fucking Carroll. Think about it for a second. You have to throw in the money. You're getting a million to one. You just need me to be bluffing for content one fucking time. Oh, ace nine, very hard to fold ace nine. Better to have a five than it is to have ace nine, I think. I think it is. Might not be. Um, yeah, it's pretty hard to it's pretty hard to fucking fold that one, my friend. So good at boats. Calling triple barrel bluffs with top pair. What's up, Matt uh, Suma? What's up, my friend? Fuck, this is where I would love to not be me. Uh, we'll just throw it in luck. I want to min raise there and shove river, but whatever, dude. Whatever, dude. That three four suited was not appeal. Maybe maybe it was against a recreational player. I don't know what the fuck I was doing there. If it was a recreational player, it's fine. See, there's a thought between a quarter and a third here, by the way. All right, where are we? Fuck. <laughs> oh, man. This guy. I got I to gotta throw some tissues back at him. All right, I should probably make a label on that guy. Hello, Station Emix, Stationson, Stationson. Throw in the four ball. Kings and aces, boys. All right, what are we trying to get value from here? Move that a little bit bigger.
So he knows who I am, which is good news. Um, I think we might go for a turn check. There's so many like sixes, nine eights and stuff. Eh, we'll just go for another one. No snap is the absolute dream. I've never been happier in my life not to see a snap. Even when I've been playing for millions of dollars, this has probably been the, the cherry on top of my career. I recognize that screen name. Leeds United. I recognize the screen name plus the, ooh, whatever it's called, picture. All right, if he knows me well enough, he knows that I'm usually bluffing when I do this. Let's go. <laughs> King me. No, I felt that. Oh, it's so annoying. <laughs> but we talked him into it, which is what the most important thing. If he knows my content well enough, he knows that usually when I do that, I'm bluffing. And he'd already said hi in the chat. So uh, maybe, maybe we just out-leveled somebody. Maybe or maybe we just outleveled somebody. Yeah, oh, cool. We're going to win the pot against ace, jack, ace, queen, and ace, king pretty often anyway. New look with the hair? No, nah, this has been been pretty pretty me for a while. What what do you what do you think? What do you think? Does it look good? Looking sexy. Looking there, yeah, like the like a little bit of that, a little bit of the Sri Yantra. Wait, is the audio working? Yeah, audio's working. Fuck yeah. All right. We'll just call nine. We'll just laugh and call it. Play some some what I like to call post flop. Oh, I want to swap flops. All right, he can have a 10. Definitely can have a 10. Now I'll go this size. This this size puts ace high in a really shitty spot. No snap, good. Nice. I feel like if I go smaller there, I just get heroed. I just get heroed a lot. <laughs> Charlie going for the homeless Jesus look. Hell yeah. That's exactly what I was going for. How did you know? You've been reading my diary. <laughs> oh, man. This size makes me want to makes me want to call so bad, but I don't have enough reason to. So later, the top five players from the coin poker free roll are going to be playing me all for five hundred dollars each. And honestly, there aren't many players left. It looks like there's 276 players, but that's because so many of the tables is literally every single player sitting out, which is which is wild. Um, so really aren't that many players left. So soon all of those are about to combust into one, about to coalesce, coalesce. And uh, yeah, we're about to, uh, kill it. and we're about to, we're about to see like a final few tables. And then later at 8 p.m., the top five get to get to have it out with me. I think I would probably want to tang this on a little bit. It's a good spot to go for, but this is a sad thing when you have kings. A little bit deeper, post flop edge. We'll squeeze in ace nine off. Go, on. go on. 
score. Against McLovin himself. Danoka. Looking culty, Charlie Manson. Yeah, I feel that. I've definitely got the cult leader vibe to me, which I maintain is a huge compliment because you'd rather, because I'm not a cult leader, but you want to be the kind of person that could be. That's my theory, at least. You want to be the kind of person that people are like, if, if you do start a cult, I'm in. Just so you know, just letting you know. And uh, yeah, you don't, you don't want to be like a limp biscuit that's just like, oh, I don't want to join my cult. Not anybody today. Okay, don't worry about it. Uh, so yeah, we'll take, we'll take the compliment. All right, Zippo. Fuck. We're just gonna we're just gonna snap Coco. Just gonna fucking snap Coco. I regret it already. Just gonna call the fallback. This is normal. <laughs> that one's normal. I'm gonna check it back. How much do we look like fucking tens right now? By the way. Nah, I give up. I give up. Oh, let's go. Here we're going to go go a size that other race size are going to fall to. Apart from Ace 5. People have to know you look like fake Jesus, not like real brown Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I gotta, I gotta spend a lot of time in the sun to look like real Jesus. Which I'm always one, I'm always curious whether those white, white nationalists kinds of people, you know, the people that are like super hardcore Bible Belt, fuck yeah Jesus, but pretty racist. I'm always wondering if they know that Jesus was a little brown Jew. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm always curious about that one. 170, yeah, that's fucking aces, man. Fuck you. <laughs> Go on, then. We'll stretch out King 4 suited. Put it to the test. Nice, clean eyes today. Fuck you. Yeah. Don't know what that means. Clean eyes. How would you guys rate your own looks out of ten? Not on a on your own scale, not on conventional attractiveness, but on your own scale. That's what that's what that's what really matters. How do you see yourself? Fuck convention. Yeah. Fuck other people's rating systems. How do you see your rating system? Keep your options open. Yeah. Sometimes you might, maybe you want to start a cult at some point. Maybe maybe you do. I'm just saying. Maybe you do. By the way, as much as I do love playing on Pokestars, sometimes they uh, they still haven't paid back the the supernova elites and the uh, supernovas. Uh, so they can go fuck themselves for that. Although I'm sure there's a lot of very good people over there. And I do appreciate their software. For you all that don't know what that is, uh, basically, they had a two-year program where people played all year to try and get in this program. You know, you had to play a lot to, to qualify for a Supernova or Supernova Elite. And then at the end of the two years, or at the end of one of the years, they were like, actually, this is now just a one-year program. Uh which basically just stole the second year of people's stuff. So I'm going to go for a member here. Probably not good. It's 
progress check whatever so basically they stole thousands or tens of thousands of dollars of players uh, sometimes hundreds of thousands of dollars and that that just ain't fucking cool in my books you know what i'm saying that just ain't fucking cool stealing tons of money off players it was hundreds of thousands of dollars could be millions to be honest like accumulated throughout everybody Going a little bit smaller here with Queen Jack suited than we did earlier with 9 6 suited. Don't want as much fold equity. Looking for a snap call in the turn so we can jam rivers. Ah, oh, not that river though. Phew. <laughs> yeah, that was not the best river to fucking. Ace five me, bro. I know you want to. Go on, ace fucking five me. Yeah. I wonder how many folds he has for this size. Somewhat none. So we now beat eights and nines. Sorry, we don't beat it, obviously. But we can bluff him. So we'll probably go for a, for a double barrow here. Huh? Tens of Rose Gold as well. Yeah. Some other stuff might fold. Ace 10 suited might fold it. Jesus never existed. It's just a story about the sun. Maybe it's both, my friend. Maybe Jesus did exist, of which there is plentiful historical evidence. And maybe he also walked an archetype, which could also be described through metaphor. Hmm. Maybe he embodied a path to enlightenment, or not quite enlightenment, but fucking, he got he got pretty far. Let's be real, he did pretty good. All right, we're checking back. Rep king, that's what I'm doing. What are you doing? I'm repping kings. All right, fine. You got yourself a deal, my friend. BSTI'd me. Calling a three bet. Um, yeah, we, we ain't going nowhere on this flop for many obvious reasons. And we still beat a bunch of his bluffs, by the way. So what we're going to do is we're going to give off a fake timing tell. We're going to tank, 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 call. And uh, hope that he thinks it's strong. Because that's what loads of people do when they're strong. Well, he was bluffing on the turn. Uh, unfortunately, got it on the river. And BSTI'd me like the best of them. Shout out to the BSTA. Shout out to Mr. Spud. Is he going to go that size with a set or with a straight? I don't think so. Easter Dams doesn't believe in sun. Very wise, very wise. I'm going to get the YouTube chat up as well. I feel like I can focus on a few things right now. Turn up the tunes. Yeah, I was thinking about putting on some music. Should we try some music? You guys are going to have to tell me how the music is, like how the levels are. And I'm not going to know straight away. Let's let's try it on YouTube. How about that? King 7, disrespectful open. I would actually bluff this spot pretty fucking wide. Um, 
Don't know who knows that. Hopefully he knows that. I guess he's got a 10. Or aces. Hey, it's Adriano. He's got, he's got one of my good friends as his profile pic photo. Catherine. So you'll have to tell me, you have to tell me how the music level is, but it doesn't really matter too much because I'll win the token in that round. Yo, so. So easily BSTI'd by these recreational players, man. I also have to remember, I've been playing on GG so much recently, I've got to remember these guys aren't the same as GG players. The player pool is significantly different. I can still bluff a lot, I'm still going to play a red line strategy, but. Gonna make some solid adjustments. Oh man, I kind of don't believe him. <sighs> that makes sense. So I had him. So I had him. These recreational players, man, they're tricky. <laughs> they're super tricky. How am I finding 100 zoom on stars? It plays pretty much the same as it did when I did the bankroll challenge, from what I can see at least. Um, yeah, everyone, everyone's still kind of playing like bad GTO. That's my, that's my feeling of it at least. On a brick river, not a diamond, we were going to be over betting there. On a diamond, we get to go small. Bluffing the best hand, love to hear it. May the best bluffer win. Somebody says, good to see Charlie acknowledge that 100 L is like 1K L back in his day. Not really. Not really. I wouldn't say that. No. Like, people have definitely gotten better. Um, 
but it's like back then i didn't have the tools that i have now not that i use the tools but i've learned from other people that use the tools uh, let's throw in the king six And yeah, just generally when you play 1k now, the players just tend to be so much more aggressive, so much more on top of the, the dynamics of the game. Um, you know, they, they really had to battle through the ranks to get up to, up to those stakes. So even though now maybe you'll take a 100 zoom player and they'll be able to hold their own at 1k now back in like eight years ago, seven years ago, um, it doesn't mean like the caliber of person has, has gotten that much harder. Another thing I have to remember is that when I was playing on GG, people didn't know it was me. Uh, so I could get away with a lot of stuff that I can't get away with here. It's not the one you want to see. It's not the one. Be a little bit loose. Might be a little bit loose. I think I'm gonna check jam this. This is like the, the dream spot now. If it goes check check and then turns a, a brick, then uh, we just have the best hand of the week. Trying to prove you wrong on stars hypothesis. What's the stars hypothesis? Oh, you're the person that had the voices speaking to him. Uh, no, I already, I already did a bankroll challenge on poker stars. Uh, I ain't trying to prove that I can beat nothing. Just hit, uh, just hit edge gate. Just hit teach. Sounds a bit low. Mic or music? And then I'm here to give away uh, the first slice of $10,000. And to do it, to win, you have to be in my uh, affiliate for Coin Poker. I got a tournament that's currently running. 56 people left out of 967. 
and in an hour and 20 minutes oh, when you hit hit us right now and 15 the top five players are gonna all have a chance to play me for 500 usd and uh if any of them lose the money will then go on to next week where only my affiliates can play and the top players will play for a combined amount you know a thousand dollars this time or whatever so uh, this time round, most people the vast majority of people were just completely sitting out of the uh of the tournament so if you want to be part of a tournament where most people are sitting out and you're playing for a chance to win 500 or a thousand dollars for free sign up to my affiliate link it's worth some time mike's a bit low hmm. i think i've got it turned all the way up i do So I'll just turn down the music again. Let me know how that is. Let me know if uh, I need to speak louder. Fucking this mic worth fucking way too much money. Still, still too low, huh? Adriano. Not your time, my friends. Not your time. If he checks back again, we're checking the river very quickly. Ah, we might not go very quickly. Because no man in a million years wants to triple check an ace there. So if he checks again, he's just got king nine. And yeah, king nine. In which case, we ain't going to get no money out of it anyway. But if he does have an ace and he goes for a $4 bet, and we make it $35, he's going to be like, Fuck my life and maybe pay me off because he knows who I am. Do you think this this pool is beatable for three big blinds per hundred or higher? Yeah, it's super super beatable for three big blinds. Yeah, you can you can at least double that, guaranteed. There's a bunch of recreational players just alone that will that will give you a, a huge amount, but the the regs here they're just you know they're pretty weak. If you, if you know how the if you know how they play no offense to y'all out there who are 100 l or worse but just in comparison to you know if you just take a, a very good player so let's fucking find out if that's us let's fucking find out if we can do it like we've always done it hey hannon he's sleeping Oh, cool. Having a good time streaming. Beautiful day. Oh, she's so sleepy. Ow. You want to come put your hands on my heart? Guys, say hi to the OG herself. Hi. Hey. The sleeping on him. Roll in Hannah. Wow, he just had it just had a fucking six, huh? Just had a fucking six. I'm all in. Just had a fucking six. Somebody says, I already, already have an account. Can I still become your affiliate? Nope. No, you may not. Mm -mm, that would be unethical. I can do some breathing with my heart. Feeling uh, a little bit of stress from being on stream.
Oh. If only we had like a million drinks down soon. Would you? A sick thirsty, an unquenchable thirsty. Yeah, we just want bubbles. <laughs> Luckily, I don't think the microphone was uh, quite sensitive enough to pick up on whatever just came out of your mouth. I give up. I'm not trying to give him off that. <laughs> hey Charlie, I'm offended that you think my low stakes quality is actually low stakes quality. I'm so sorry, my friend. I will, uh, I'll take it all back. Age difference between me and Hannah? Take a guess. It's nothing creepy. <laughs> I'll tell you that for free. Right. Let's go 20. I gotta be real, not a huge fan of the timing there. Not a huge fan of it. Feels like it could very well be nutted like aces. But it wasn't. That's good. Eights. Whoa. This is what I'm talking about. The difference between stars and GG right now is the I mean the main difference is that people know who I am. They just ain't fucking folding. There's a there's a crazy call. That's a crazy, crazy call. Now his timing on the turn makes some sense. He actually did have a... Well, it shouldn't, it shouldn't be a tough decision, but he had a decision he felt was tough. Alright. We can't get to full sevens or nines anymore. So if we bet, we're really just trying to get him off the fucking tens and jacks. So we're actually just going to check his back. Ooh. Ooh, give it to me. Give me the heart. She's looking at you kind of thirsty. She does that, yeah. <laughs> oh, she loves you so much the way she was rubbing your neck with her thumb. She does. I don't know what the fuck I did in a past life to deserve it, but running good. Running real good. If he calls, we do get... Uh, don't worry about it. A lot of good turn barrel spots. Sorry, man, beautiful people. If you want to be part of a $10,000 free roll over four weeks, have exclusive motherfucking access, check out uh, my coin poker affiliate link. I got I to gotta still get a thousand signups, and I don't know how much we're up to at the moment, but I got to get a thousand signups. So I got to keep fucking telling people about this. And it's worth your time. It's a great spot to make a lot of free money. There's also uh, every week they give away $6,000 free money. So I'm giving away 10. They give away six a week. 
which is which is crazy. We're up to around about 550 out of the thousand so far. We still got a while to go, so we should be good. But I need your guys' help. You gotta sign up. You gotta come make your money. <coughs> no password. You're either in it or you're not. You're either my fillet or you're not. Hey, my friend, uh, the ad lad is currently in it. He's he's crushing. Looks like the stakes are ginormous. 8K, 16K. Man. He's all in. <coughs> nice end, ad lad. Nice end. So it's kind of like a satellite where only the top five people play. Interesting sizing here. Very interesting sizing. Kind of making it a two street game. It's an interesting board to do it on. I'm gonna go 11. Um, throw these other sixes. Would he bet ace five suited like that? Would he bet ace ten even? Maybe not. When's the nine eleven debate stream? Would love to have to check about the Pentagon in particular. Nobody fucking debates me in the poke world. Nobody wants to debate me. There's, uh, there's a few people that said they would, and then just fucking wouldn't. Um, so yeah, I'll have to just carry on debating random viewers until somebody wants to fucking come on and have the conversation. What do you guys think? One in the chat, if 9-11 was what the government told you it was. Two in the chat, if you think there was some kind of conspiracy happening. One for normal, two for conspiracy. Get your answers out in the chat. Are you a tinfoil hatter or are you, are you a sheep? There's no in between. Going to be raising this with a very wide variety of hands. Just happen to have a good bluff. Here's a question for you. Let's say you're small blind versus button in a cash game. And your three bet size is from two big blinds to 10 big blinds, so 5x. Now let's say you suddenly go 300 big blinds deep instead of 100 big blinds deep. How big do you want your three bet to be? So in, instead of 5x, what's your what's your new size? You want it to be bigger, smaller? Um, you know, let's say instead of 10 big blinds, what? how many big blinds are you gonna go to from, from two? Thank you, Mr. Unreal Civ. What's up, WMG? What's the fuck is that thing next to your Super Ultra combo? What's the name? Congratulations for the Super Ultra combo. The very well coveted Super Ultra combo. It's really hard to say as well. All right, one fat lady. Let's dance. Size up a little bit while still making it look small. So now we're really trying to target Jack X, pocket fives, pocket eights, sounds like that. So I think around 12 will do, do the trick. Fuck. <laughs> I don't... I don't know if I'm good enough to fold this at any point. 
Oh, man. Now maybe I am. <laughs> I mean, so you have to do a 6 7. Purpose has a set, right? Nah, fuck it. The real test is on a brick river. On like a fucking ace or whatever. The real test is there. Can I make the fold? That one's, you know, you, even if he turns up some wacky bluff, he could be have me beat now. You can't say three for a little bit of both about the fucking nine. Obviously, some of it was, as the government said. You know, the Twin Towers did fall. <laughs> you can't have a little bit of both. Cheating. You got you to go conspiracy tinfoil hat or you got to go cheat. I don't, I don't accept anything in between. If I'm not me here, this is a great fucking spot. But as me, I don't think he's folding even pocket eights at any point. I think I could just three bet the turn and shove the river. And I don't, I don't think he's ever going to fold pocket eights against me. So I just got to fucking wait until I turn up with the, with the hand there in that spot. So yeah, counterintuitively, the deeper you are, Small blind versus button or something like that. The smaller you want to be three betting in general. Obviously, it depends if you want to go super export. You can mix your sizes and stuff like that. But theoretically, the small, the deeper you are, the smaller you want to go. And the reason for that is that now you don't have too much value from going big because you're not putting hands like pocket deuces or ace three suited or king nine suited in a tough spot because you're super deep. They're just going to call anyway. Whoa. So you want to... Yeah, you want to be going smaller, counterintuitively. <laughs> yeah, I'd like I'd like Pete to analyze my hands too. I just did a I just did a really cool session with Yuri Pelag. Probably, I mean, in my opinion, one of the best theoreticians of poker in the fucking world, and one of the only people that I really listen to when it comes to game theory. I mean, I listen to everybody, but really, really deeply respect his opinion. Um, did, a, did a session with him where I went over his footage and then he went over my footage and we analyzed both of them and it was, it was really interesting. It was really fun stuff. All right, that 10 of hearts is me, means I ain't going fucking nowhere. <laughs> cool. Seven, eight, so bad. Go for the double float here. Could definitely just be terrible. Yeah, it was just bad. All right. I had thought I had I had reasons to call a turn, thinking that if I were in his shoes, I'd be double barreling lows. But then thinking about it, it was a bad play because people aren't me, and I don't think he's going to turn up with enough bluffs there. And if anything, I could just fucking shove the river, to be honest. So, bad play all around. Don't like it. Don't like it at all. So one of, one of the worst things that I can do is put my brain in my opponent's shoes and think that they're going to play like me. But people don't find bluffs. People really don't like bluffing. I ain't saying everyone's a pussy. But... This today, man. Today's going a little bit funky. Today's today's a little bit weird. I 
fucking nice, uh, nice fucking two hours, bro. I'm blaming something. I'm blaming the uh, the energy. Let's always blame the energy. Never, never take responsibility or accountability for your bad results. Always blame energy is the is the play. So what could be wrong about the energy? Hmm. Or maybe that is taking full responsibility and accountability for your results. If you blame the energy, then uh, yeah, I like that. I like that. It's gonna be four bet now. Haven't four bet bluffed today. But he doesn't know that. Go for a quarter pot. I'm here for another hour, <laughs> so <laughs> I'm kind of I'm kind of drilled into this because I'm I've got to be playing this uh this heads up. Very interesting thing happening at the moment. Why can't you join the free roll? It's already started, my friends. It's already started. You can join next week's. If you're signed up to my affiliate, you can join. And uh, we're actually down to the final two tables. So I could just uh, could just go to that. The ad lad is in there. Final two tables. So they're, they're currently playing... Let me just get it up quickly. They're currently playing a, um, a satellite, essentially. And there are 11 of them left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, okay. Uh, 13 of them left because it's 700. And top five get a chance to play for $500. It's pretty cool. It's actually playing reasonably deep. It's actually playing reasonably deep. I've noticed that people ain't fucking fold into this when I'm when I'm isolating fucking huge. Sweetie boy. Thanks, Andy Bun. All right, because he knows, because we're saying this stuff in the chat, it kind of creates a dynamic where he might decide to play back super ridiculously loose against me. Um, so let's let's do this. 
<laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's find out if my theory was correct. 6-5, nah, he played down to normal. Throw another full bed bluff. Did I ever play much volume against Kanu? I don't know if I've ever played a single hand against Kanu. Maybe I did this super early on in my career in the high stakes. <laughs> I play, you blame energy, I play in RNG. I like that. That's funny. Clever. They are down to the final 10. So half of these players are going to get a chance to play me heads up for five hundred dollars. By the way, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I'm excited. I'm excited to give people five hundred dollars, or give nobody five hundred dollars and give everyone next week a thousand dollars. Do you agree that in a game with no blinds, the optimal strategy would be to raise with aces? I mean, with aces, yeah, it would be to shove in with aces every, uh, and then fold fold everything else. Did I play in any try in London and would you? I did. I played one tournament and then I got sick. <laughs> and so I didn't play anymore. I played the, the 40K uh, Mystery Bouncer. I was going to go $15, but I've ended up going the third point instead of 3x pot. I probably should have sized up there against a recreational player. Put him, in a, put him in a tough spot now with pocket seven, seven, eight, nine, seven suited, ten, seven suited. He might even fold fucking Jack Tennis, but you never know he might fold Jack Tennis Spades. You never fucking know. If he does, that would be insane. But you never fucking know. I don't feel good about it. Yeah, it's ten. Oh, if he's considering folding ace ten, it's a great fucking bluff. Maybe aces will turn our session around. Oh my goodness, aces are going to turn our session around. I'm calling it now. He's definitely not got kings. He's definitely not got anything that will just check fold. He's got... I don't know what he's got. Let's check back anyway. Oh yeah, there's definitely nothing that can go wrong right now. 100% best hands. Definitely not pocket jacks. That would be insane. Um, yeah, we just have 100% the best hands, million percent the best hands. He's got King Jack. I mean, how does he, how does he not have King Jack here? Who doesn't just have fucking King Jack right now? Do we shove is the question. We fucking do, but I don't like it. It honestly could just be a check, like, theoretically. <laughs> definitely, definitely just doesn't have jacks. That would be stupid. That would be, that would be too quintessential for, for what's going on today. <laughs> hey, baby. Hey, babe. 
Is the tea coming? Thank you. Okay, Thank you. Thank you. Hey, pretty kitty. Hey. Hi, Charlie. Thank you for the little kiss. Welcome. Welcome to the show. He ran up. Mm. Hey, baby, I'm getting really unlucky. Tell me what to do. Umbo to the slat, it's a bit of a ring on bar, it's a dino dino. Heard it. You heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. To start winning, all we gotta do is be a little bit more sparkly. Let's three bet eight four suited in a sparkly fashion. It didn't work, baby. He back raised us. Don't even know what that means. Alright, performer sparkle coming on. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and everything in between, we got top pass third kicker. There's no chance that we are ever going to lose this pot. We're just going to own absolutely everybody in the pot, including our friend here, Aigalara. So probably going to have to go for a slow call, not wanting to scare him off because we obviously have the best hands. One fat lady still in the mix. Does he want to call and stay around with his ace king or ace queen? I don't know if he does. He doesn't know if he does. Hopefully he doesn't raise. He does stick around. Probably ace king. There are 16 combinations of ace king. And uh, not much else that wants to just fucking check call on the flop. If you ask me. Now we see a check on the turn. Giving us the green light to now bet $15 into a pot of $53. Does one fat lady want to stick around yet again with his ace king? I don't imagine he does. So he's probably out of the... Oh god, what's he got? I'm terrified. Have jack 10 one time. If it's ace-king, I'll scream. Ready? Hold your ears. Nah, that's king's fine. When he calls the turn, it's, uh, it's generally not good news. Go for the old one big blind. Down to eight in the, uh, in the free roll, by the way. So five of these eight people are going to be making, uh, going to be playing me heads up for five hundred dollars. Exciting shit. All right, let's fucking crush this cunt. Can you say that? Can you, baby? Can you say cunt on uh, Twitch? Do you know? Am I allowed to say cunt on Twitch? Cunt. What do you guys think? Cover your ears. I don't like a potty mouth and not around my daughter. Thank you very much. Nah, I'm just kidding. We don't mind it. Only society tells us that words like that are bad. Don't listen to the social conditioning. There is no word that should be outside of your lexicon.
Got a nice bluff through. Would you have found that bluff? Here's the sparkly personality that she asked for with my tea that's going to give me a caffeinated boost. A dopaminergic rush. 8-4 of diamonds has never done us wrong apart from the last time we threw bet it. So we'll throw that one in the muck. 7-5 off suited and queen 7 suited. Can I squeeze that in? I'm going to be disciplined now because I'm playing a sparkly personality. That means I probably have to play a little bit more normal poker. I'm going to actually really fucking try and win these fucking stacks right now. Look at that double gut shot. Oh, yeah. If you see bets big, we'll check all. If you see bets small, we'll check raise. If he doesn't see bet at all, we'll check it over to him on the ace turn. What's he going to do when he bets the ace? Are we going to find a nice 3x pot check raise to put him in the blender with ace 5 off suit or ace 5 suited? Can I actually open ace 5 off from the card? Just saying. He does find the big one. We're going to make it. A whopping $35 to go. If he calls, he's going to have two pair plus some decent amount of the time. If he folds, we're in great shape because we won the pot. Now he's put in the absolute blender. He shouldn't find a single shove on the turn. So if he calls, all we have to do is hit a fucking jack or a fucking seven. He found a call and uh, we're going to lose the pot. You know, on the 10, we're actually not. We're going to shove. On the 10, exactly in the 10, we're going to find a shove. Look at the 9-7 I got. Look at the King Jack that I got. Look at the bluffs that I don't have in my range. Look at everything. Look how good it is. I've got so many fucking value hands. The 10, just the perfect card to continue bluffing on. I love the fact that the 10 has come out because I've got sparky personality. My wife is laughing at me in the other room. <laughs> Baby, it didn't go well. <laughs> yeah i'm having some good fun actually yeah thank you if i lose my stars roll so be it man what's one thousand dollars between friends eh then i'll go on my gg roll get rid of that i'll go on my coin poker roll fuck it should we play some high stakes right now high stakes coin poker action i've only got like 10k on there but i could lose 10k uh what what's fucking 10k between friends Both runty sacks down to $100. Looking good. <laughs> Alright, 10A offsuit. Fuck it, let's throw it in there because this guy's in the big blind. If he calls this, I'm just done with poker. Poker is no longer my friend. I don't want to fucking play no more if he calls. I'm done for the day. Not really. I'm going to keep going. Keep going until my roll's just gone. Let's go. Oh, the ad lad. Oh, my friend, the ad lad just bust. I think, he's I think that's it. I think that's his whole stack. Oh, he's got a little bit left. There are eight people left. And he's uh, he's only got a little bit left. He's got he's gotta make the top five. That ain't that ain't gonna be easy. He's all in. Uh, he's managed to take it down. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, in this in this free roll at the beginning, there were just tables and tables and tables full of literally everybody sitting out. You love to see it. What we've been witnessing is the power of manifestation. It's the power of being able to look at a poker hand and manifest bad luck. But now we're going to turn it around because if you've got the potential to manifest bad luck, you've also got the potential to manifest good luck. Let's make this $13.40. Folding him off everything apart from a jack. Maybe king, queen, offsuit.
A little bit loose. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> that wasn't sparkly commentary. That was Charlie does horse racing commentary. Baby, did I, did I sound like I was doing horse racing commentary? She said a little bit and giggled at me. Oh, fuck me. How do I sound sparkly again? And baby, I've forgotten it. I feel pretty sparkly now. I, I, I think we got it. Hundred L too tough these days. Fuck you. I've been playing some heads up recently. I've recorded some heads up footage. Sorry. All right, guys, you heard it here first. I'm gonna become the most entertaining person in poker. Me, Charlie fucking cow. Entertaining AF. All right, we're going to give him the old tank. We can't snap check this one because then he'll know we've hit something. He'll know that we've got some kind of showdown value. He might be inclined to turn a nine into a bluff. All right, dumbass Doug. Just out of fucking third set. Makes sense, makes sense. He went a size I didn't think a flush would go, but so that makes sense. Wait, did you just lead into me after I three bet you? What the fuck is that? Oh my goodness, you just continue. I'm getting fucked up. Hannah, why am I getting so fucked up? I don't understand it. Every hand. <laughs> I'm down so many buy-ins. All right, here's, here's the new plan whilst, uh, whilst I'm trying to play Sparkly. We're going to play really fucking tight. We're going to play really fucking tight. We're going to play normal ABC poker. We're going to play so fucking tight. Hannah, we're going to play tight. Ooh, King Jack beats Ace Queen on the thing. Tight. Don't want to don't wanna bluff. Don't want to rep an eight. What ethnicity is my wife? She looks an Eastern European. No, she's American. She looks Asian, if anything. Tight. Three batting kings. <laughs> yeah, he heard me. Talked him out of it. Tight, tight. Waiting for races. Waiting for races. That's the new name of the game. We're waiting for races. We're waiting for races. Against our friend Star, friend of the stream from Costa Rica. We've got 8 9 against his 9 8. Playing tight. <laughs> Not good for bet 9 8 offsuit. Playing tight. Playing tight. The fuck is that? Play him tight, play him tight. Always calling king high. Play him tight, play him tight. Huh? He's just got an ace, huh? Okay. <laughs> okay, cool. That's so weird. Play him tight, play him tight. Nice normal 3x size because I'm playing tight. Playing tight. Normal C bet size because I'm playing tight. P -p 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 playing tight. Checking back the turn to call the river. P -p playing tight. P -p playing tight. Easy call on the river. He's got a set. P -p playing tight. P -p playing tight. <laughs> All right. Opening 10 8 suited because we're p -p -p playing tight. P -p playing tight. King nine suited on the button. Playing tight. Playing tight.
Very neat. Oh, they're on the final table. Final table, boys. There's seven left, and five get to play me heads up. And given that I'm playing tight right now, they've got a good chance of winning. $500. All right. Nice. Want a pot? It's a big one. Because we're p p p playing tight. I like min betting these kind of spots. What are you going to do here with Ace King? Yeah. What are you going to do with pocket deuces? You're in a real pickle. Anything but big? We'll take it. Take a check. Yeah, King 8. The trip's on the turn. Holy shit. Hey, we want a fucking pull. Let's fucking go. We were behind. Let's go. Queen Jack off suit under the gun with a recreational player in the big blind. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I don't. Is he a recreational player? If he doesn't know who I am, I can bluff this really nicely. All right, put, put, play in tight, play in tight. Let's go. <laughs> put, put, play in tight. Technically got a combo draw. Hey, let's go. Play in tight, play in tight. Only value bet. And when we got <laughs> play in tight, play in tight. So if you look in here, they actually only have half an hour to, to finish this up. It's lucky we said until eight. Um Yeah, they're playing a satellite. It could it could take longer than half an hour. Which would be interesting. Looks like at least somebody knows how to play fucking satellites. But to be to be making those shoves, you need other people to know how to play satellites as well. Luckily, satellites are kind of intuitive. You kind of realize you sit there with Ace King, you're like, wait a second, I don't want to flip here. I'm in fucking third. I'm just going to make it if I fold. Uh, so you can't get away with a lot of these shoves. Play in tight. Play in tight. I'm going to over bet this pot. Play in tight. Play in tight. Getting folds from 10-9 suited, getting folds from 7-5, getting fucking calls from fucking 8, 8 x huh? If it's 6 x I'm fucking so sad. Yeah, 6 x nice hand. Play in tight, play in tight. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta adjust that, that kind of strategy. It works so well when people don't know it's me. It works so unbelievably well when people don't know it's me. But when they know it's me, they're just cool. All right, so we're, we're just going to play a playing tight strategy from now on and actually do it. We're just actually going to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're just going to wait for the nuts. That's, the, that's, that, that's how to win at poker, what do you mean? You just wait for the fucking nuts. Oh... Nobody ever fucking bluffs. Fuck it. Nobody ever bluffs. If he found a bluff there, congratulations. Nobody ever fucking does.
Charlie, you're the embodiment of Jesus, both physically and mentally. Thank you. Uh, yeah, he was he was he was significantly more evolved than I was, but I do appreciate that. Thank you. Two outs, fair enough. All right, there you are. Play him tight, play him tight. He doesn't know who, who I am, play him tight. <laughs> I'm allowed to bluff the recreational players. I'm, they're the only people I'm allowed to bluff, all right? Regs, no more bluffs. Will I be playing them heads up today? I will. I'll be playing them heads up in 20 minutes from now. 25 minutes from when I'm saying it, 20 minutes from when you're hearing it. How's the music level, by the way? How's the music level? Play in tight. <laughs> look at that, look at that fold. Hey, gorgeous. Yeah, you got it. Mammoth. Hey, Hannah came in. We flopped a fucking straight. Let's go, Hannah. Let's go. We'll check it. We'll check it. Oh, Hannah. Why did you let the six come? Fucking Hannah. Huh? Yeah, am I fucking right? Let's just bet a big bet, huh? Yeah, oh, fuck, Hannah. They folded. Play him tight. Play him tight. We're going to raise two six dollars. Play him tight. <laughs> Yeah, so this is my free roll, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, seven people left. Five of them get to play me heads up for five hundred dollars, so they have to really try and survive. Are we watching them? We're watching on the side. The the people stream on the stream are watching me. Mm. They're watching me get uh, extremely lucky from now on. Yeah, you like that? Like that manifest? Look at that! The dishwashers. That's that's you. Hey, you're my queen. That reminds me, I need to do the dishes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, you're my queen. That happens to also be a dishwasher. Just so happens. Oh, I like this actually. This is good. That's sick. You should leave our baby unattended for long. She's snoozing. She's snoozing. Mm. You remember Adam from the retreat? Which Adam? Uh, there was only one Adam from the retreat from the first the one. The first one? Yeah. He was in here until the last minute and he just burst. Oh, GTA. Call in the 8 9 off suit. We three bet the king queen suit and flopped a flush draw. So we need a fifth heart, if you don't mind, please, madame. Or a fold. I don't mind a fold, but I'd rather a fifth heart. Mm. She wants to call. And we're seeing another horn. That'd be great. <laughs> we're, seeing, we're seeing a very nice little frying sand. What we're going to do is we're going to go all in here. <laughs> yeah, I'm all in. <laughs> play him tight. Play him tight. He folded like a little bitch. <laughs> Do you bluff? What a bitch, am I right? How would you uh, commentate this, your... Uh, commentate what, this or this? Uh, your figures. Wait, there's two parts. You mean the one I'm you playing here? What do you mean, how would I commentate? What do you mean, what do you, what are you um, asking? How would you make it entertaining? Are you, you saying this isn't entertaining enough? All right, do I do I just need to call aimless chimp little bitch? Is that gonna, <laughs> do I need to use funny voices? I know you love funny voices. Is that what you want from me? <laughs> you want the funny voices? I mean, you need oh, to I'm aimless chimp. <laughs> oh, I make Hannah happy because I use a funny voice. Oh, look at me and my big ears and big eyes. Oh. She's giggling because she loves funny voices. <laughs> oh, my IQ of 
lyrics <laughs> is so low that I can go down on Hannah Lussenden's level of humor. We river the fucking straight though, boys. Let's fucking <laughs> go. I'm all in. I'm all in. Yo, yo. Oh, I'm aimless chimp and I've followed it. Fuck me now. No, we're on square. You have to be the best. Uh, what is it? The best rising poker star. <laughs> yeah, yeah, up and rising, young yeah. poker star. <laughs> All right. Do we want to try and bluff him off a of jack? Is the question. All right, I don't think we do. I can't think of a single good way to bluff this in. No, we can bluff. Now, if he wants to. Uh, no. Play him tight. Play him tight. Hannah needs to stay because we've got some <laughs> stacks finally. <laughs> Dumbass Doug. Doug? Dumbass Where'd Doug. Go? Where'd he go? Yeah, he's out of here. We're, we're playing against many, many people today. Really? Gonna read some chat. I'm scared. There is no music. Oh. Okay. I guess I should turn it up. Wait, why is it not playing? What the fuck? How's that? I bet it's gonna be way too loud now. Ah! Hope I didn't find out. Just coinage. That's probably not what I meant to type. Don't leave. Okay. <laughs> you want to get a chair? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck the dishes. Am I right? Hashtag fuck the dishes in the chat. Am I right? We'll find a dishwasher. We'll find another dishwasher. This is our bottom dishwasher. <laughs> Playing tight. Peeling three. Don't do this at home, by the way. Maybe I should just start folding hands that I should be folding. <laughs> Maybe that's the strategy. Hey, um, for card God. Do this, wait, do this dude ever play high stakes mid with his own money? Do you ever get laid? Whoa! Oh, damn! Oh, fucking a damn! Hey, baby, the life that we live. Did I ever play high stakes with my own money and make this life for us? Yeah, bitches! Yeah, boys, made millions of dollars in poker, bitches! <laughs> Yeah, that was pretty good. I used to have 100% my action. Then I got staked by Orpi. Uh, I, I talked to him about it at Triton, and he said that I made him between $1.5 and $2 million, which is pretty fucking good if you ask me, which means I made myself one point five between $1.5 and $2 million during that, during that time period. Oh, those were the days, eh? Those were the fucking days. Now I'm just over here grinding on Twitch trying to get a thousand signups <laughs> for Tony G. Oh, I missed the days. I shouldn't have retired, should I? <laughs> Trying to make money for a fucking charity. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> I missed the days. Play him tight. Play him tight. What's your favorite suit? Everyone in the chat answer. In fact, guess, guess Hannah's favorite suit. You got, you know what I'd say. I got spades, diamonds, hearts, and clubs. Guess Hannah's favorite suit. Yeah, if you can get the telepathic read right now, you're in for a good one. It's going to be 4 bet and 6 5 suit here because we're playing tight, playing tight. I suck at this game. Didn't work. If you ask any poker player, the answer is spades. Oh, fucking know. Everyone just loves spades. Just for me too. Isn't that the poker symbol? Yeah, it's a spades. Not really. There isn't really a universal poker symbol. Yeah, there is. Okay, then. Sorry, I've only been playing uh, professional poker for a decade. But please, woman who is barely uh, barely knows the rules of poker. In fact, doesn't know the rules of poker. What is the... Uh, you're hearing it first from here. Hannah Lussenden letting all of us poker fanatics know what is the universal poker symbol well, right got... now. She's pointing at this. I... Whoa, chill. <laughs> what are you pointing at? The Mr. Potato Head? What, the dealer button? Mm -hmm. You think that's the universal poker symbol? You think you think that means like poker? The ace of spades! The ace That's the ace of spades, by the way. Yeah, that, that ain't the universal poker symbol. I think it's the ace of spades. Oh, it's a card in a deck. 
It's just a card that we happen to like the look of. There's a song about it. We we kind of like the Ace of Spades. We dig it. But it would be in a spade. What? Is it in a spade? This guy doesn't want to fucking bother, does he? What do you mean it's in a spade? Is it a spade? Well, I, I have no idea what you're saying. An Ace of Spades, it's a spade. It is a spade. Are you calling a spade a spade? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that would be the poker symbol. Why, w why would it be the poker symbol? Because it's on everything. Whenever you see poker, anything, it's always that symbol. You never see like a fucking heart or a diamond. You see loads of different stuff. You see loads and loads of different stuff. As somebody who doesn't play poker, that's not true. As somebody who plays poker all the time, that that's is true. It becomes more nuanced when you're in it. But when you're just yeah, like, it on gets the fucked. <laughs> what are you going to raise to that size, bruh? Would have folded to a shove, bruh, maybe. You will find out soon <laughs> yeah. this conversation. Yeah. <laughs> like, actually, I'll, I'll let you know, Mr. Professional Poker Player. Look, this is how you, this is the Dunning Kruger effect in full force, by the way. Dunning Kruger. Is that how you say it? Okay. Is it Kruger or Kruger? It's probably Kruger, but I don't uh, <laughs> <laughs> That was the Dunning Kruger effect. Dunning Kruger. Yeah, you're right. It just sounds like a thing. Yeah. In full force. What is that? Oh, you don't need to worry about it. It's just you. We'll show the definition on the, on the other screen. Fuck you. Done with it. Yeah, no sound my hand is in. Alright, I'm gonna guess your favorite one is hearts. Yeah? Let's go. Let's fucking go. Was it between hearts and diamond? No. Really? What was the other one? Hearts and spades, well. Oh. Alright, Royal Flush Draw, Hannah Lessenden. Royal Flush Draw. Do we want to bluff, is the question. And I think the answer is no. The problem is he does still have all the combos of Ace King. You know, and we probably want to take him off them, but he might have seen better. He might have seen better. And he might have a 10, he might. Oh, the fuck he's got. We don't, we're not going to win this hand. Oh, did the thing finish? It did finish. Hey, let's go. We got, we got six winners uh, in the challenge. We have, oh, it doesn't say. There we go. We've got GG Up, Say Caramba, Variance Junkie, Scoops, Fast Binder, and that's it. Nice. Good job, guys. Good job, guys. So now, in 13 minutes, they're going to start playing me one by one. Um, five minutes in between each one. Is it heads up? Heads up. Whoa. Heads up. And if they beat me, they get $500. And if they lose, somebody else next week gets the chance to play for $1,000 instead. Are you going to send that? Uh, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna stream it. Nice. Give me a fist bump. Made a sick play. Man, I might just package this whole fucking session up. And just put it on YouTube. Just like a fucking, uh, masochism. <laughs> Alright, people guess diamonds, clubs, diamonds, hearts, hearts. Hearts or clubs, butternut, squash soup, diamonds. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's seven, not really going. Where do 
Somebody said, Charlie should only play live. Online isn't for everybody. <laughs> this is what I have to fucking do. I have one losing session in a game where you're meant to lose like 45% of the time. I have one losing session online and so yeah, I get Boxman98 be like, oh, I can see poker isn't for everybody. Oh, it seems like you're losing some money here. Are you sure you should be playing the online poker scene? Fucking Boxman98. This is what I have to deal with. Zynga poker, where it's free. Zynga poker. Zynga poker, whatever. Yeah, we got, we got Zynga poker box nine, <laughs> nine, nine, box man ninety eight, coming at it from a different angle from the normal. <laughs> it's nice to think this guy's not a recreational player. And I learned it wrong. You only ever only win money if you're paying for it. If you're paying to win. Yeah. Yeah. What else? What else is is box man ninety eight? What else? <laughs> Tell me, tell me more about Boxman. <laughs> 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 what, what, what else could you say about him if you were being uh, brutally honest? About him? Um, he, <laughs> he sounds like the kind of guy that thinks that a girl has come just because she closed her eyes after sex. Damn, he's like, God damn, I did a good job. You did a good job, but she's really he just blinked. sitting there like, <laughs> yeah. God why, damn it. Why did I do this? Why did I lower my standards down to Boxman98 again? All right, what, what else is Boxman98? Tyler, your miss is prettier than you kiss her. <laughs> Wait, let's zoom in. Let's zoom in. No, you need to see this. Fuck you, Boxman. I see it. This is personal right now. This fucking... you know. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> You're my prop right now, for, unfortunately, for the. <laughs> You're not allowed to stop. Boxman98 is watching. It's raining around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get in, get in. Get ready. <laughs> You're gonna get banned from Twitch. <laughs> la, 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 la. Boxman idea, boxman idea, boxman. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get. <laughs> what else is Boxman idea? I'd say he's lonely. I'd say he hasn't got no friends. Yeah, Boxman idea probably doesn't have a girlfriend, does he? Anybody that calls him a missus is uh, is English for one, and lonely for two. Yeah, go get. What else is he? What else is he, baby? <laughs> he pays for women to talk to him. Pays for women so to talk lonely. to him. Boom! He's got like 16 different OnlyFans, and he thinks they're women, but, but they're not. He's like, God damn it, this woman's pretty good at this woman's pretty good at knowing what I want to hear, and, and it's and just some fucking it's old just some fat guy, guy behind the screen. Just fucking Andrew Tate, just fucking like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep sending the money, Boxman ninety eight. You're a hottie. He's one of those pay pigs as well. <laughs> Where he's like, please, please, don't spend all of my money. And, and meanwhile, it's just some dude behind the screen on the other end, just like, yeah, you fucking dirty slut. <laughs> Give me all your money. And he just thinks it's like some hot bitch, but it's really not. Yeah, that's right, Boxman98. That's you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, baby. That's how I like to assert my dominance over one person in the chat that said something mildly uncomfortable. <laughs> Just make everybody else super uncomfortable <laughs> yeah. with the mac wet mac and cheese mouth. <laughs> you jealous of this now, boys? <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 Yeah, we're going to be basically min-raising this motherfucker. <laughs> we're finding out where we're at, all right? I'm finding so out where scared we're at. For, the ca for the chat to catch up. To the makeup. Oh, that's why it's gone quiet. They're like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm all in. All in. I'm all in. Yeah, obviously. I was like, I'll make him call all his ASEX on the turn. Then I got, oh, we still have money in the account. I don't know how there's money in this account. I surely I've lost it all by now. Alright, well, we can't, we can't rebuy another full stack. Yeah, we're still getting horrendously unlucky, but we're having a great time. And that's what's important. <laughs> that's what's important. Yeah. Great content, let's go. Great content, let's fucking go. Alright, you know, I'm not going to try and block this one. 
I ain't getting BSTI'd again, boys. With plan explained. Where is your awesome baby tea sleeping? At bedtime, because she's a baby. She makes her. Yeah, that's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd probably probably get get a few strikes for that one. It's alright. I feel I feel like you can make out with a girl a few times before Twitch starts paying too much attention. Eighteen <laughs> plus. <laughs> I was start, I was making out with girls by the age of fucking fourteen, so I don't think it's eighteen plus. It's, I'd say it's a solid 15. Yeah, you were fucking on uh, Omega. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When I, I guess I can say that. When I, when, when, I, when I was 17, a girlfriend and I had sex on Omega. Not on Omega, on Chat Roulette. Um, yeah. And then we got banned off it. Some guy, <laughs> some guy just like came watching us and then just fucking reported us and we got banned. Was, uh, <laughs> yeah, was good I, was, I was pretty wild back then. I wouldn't do that now, just so you know. I wouldn't do that now. Unless it was Boxman98, which would have been honor. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright, let's not lose our last stack, please. So far, every time we've had a spot like this, it's just gone terribly wrong. This time, I just want him to have fucking Ace Jack. Can, can you please just have Ace Jack of Hearts? I'll be so happy to just have Ace Jack. <laughs> How does it turn into an 18 plus stream all of a sudden? This is what the rents do when the baby's gone down to bed. Yeah, we've got, we, we, we haven't <laughs> been having much sex recently. we got a baby. Please forgive us. <laughs> this is how we keep things spicy. Being raised on a flop from a guy that's repping fucking nothing. What can he have? He can have pocket fives. Ace Jack would have raised pre flop most of the time. Ace five, maybe. Yeah, that's right, bitch. Gonna check again. Hope he bluffs. Seems to be the kind of guy that doesn't know what the fuck he's repping. And then we're just gonna pick it off. He's gonna turn up with like six eight. He's gonna turn up fucking eight eight five. You know, he's gonna turn up some nonsense. Uh, yeah, six eight three. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Six three, like I fucking said. Oh, so fucking soon. Thanks for helping me turn into an entertainer, Hannah. <laughs> didn't didn't help with the poker whatsoever, but I feel feel good. Yeah, well. Well, what? I don't know. You're gonna lose in poker a lot. All right, we're going for a four-three suited against Toxic Chupo. Uh, if he if he calls a turn, how is everybody not folding? I, I, I honestly don't fucking... Box man, can you let me know? <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand why everyone just seems to have a fucking hand. I, is, is it the way that I'm playing? Is it is it going crazy with 4 3 suited here? Box man, if you could just let me know in the chat. Box man, I am not going to fuck you. He says she doesn't. She don't want to kiss son, leave her alone. Yeah, that's what I'm implying too. Uh, oh yeah, she ain't gonna fuck you son. <laughs> son. <laughs> she ain't gonna fuck you bro. Sitting there jacking off, fucking furious. <laughs> fucking why did you do this? <laughs> He's called Boxman, by the way, because he loves so much. He loves getting all that pussy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he said. She did not want that kiss, aha. Uh -huh. If you want to let him know. He's, he's got a partner with three kids. That's how he knows. He's, he's a veteran, apparently. You, you have to give an honest review of the kiss. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, come on his hand. Oh, I'd say that's like a three out of ten. I don't know. <laughs> you, you have to give an honest review to Boxman98 for the, for the kiss that I gave you. Because he's saying that you didn't want it. Oh, I have to give a review. You have to give a review to Boxman98. Well, I felt a little under pressure for the kiss. Fuck! You saying you didn't want it? 
That's not what I'm saying. She's saying she didn't want it. That's not Fucking what I'm box, saying. Man. I That's not what I'm saying. <laughs> never, never marry a prude. That's what I say. Foxman, you've turned us against each other. Congratulations, <laughs> Foxman. You would think with, with our history, I, I wouldn't be the prude and you would be. Yeah. But uh, yeah. doing things on camera. Yeah. You get like war flashbacks. Yeah. Hannah used to be a... Uh, back, in, back in the day, this is a long time ago. This is her dark history. She used to be a, a sex cam model. And, uh, yeah, I'm not telling you guys what her name was. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> and it wasn't because I wanted it. Yeah, she was coerced. Coerced into sex work. How are you feeling? Great. Not good. Because it's hilarious. Why did you part ways with that guy that helped you build your site? Hannah, you're not allowed to, you're not allowed to say anything in case legally we get fucked. But what, what, what do you have to say about, about that person? We're playing, by the way, for, for fucking $500 for, against this guy. We're, we're running like fucking trash, so it doesn't. But luckily, we can't fucking lose anything because this guy's ass is kind of winning. Why did you part ways with the guy who helped build your site? Because allegedly. Allegedly. Wait. Where are you about to go? I have a bank account for you. You have what? A bank account for you. Well, this isn't alleged. I've I've never seen a penny of that website. I haven't seen a fucking penny of it. Um, mm. Actually, I've seen like a thousand dollars, and I, I've I put way more than that in. And uh, it was all going into his uh, personal personal allegedly account. Personal allegedly allegedly. I mean that's true, but yeah. So anyway, we're suing, we're suing the crap out of him. Let's go. Let's fucking sue him. <laughs> Chat roulette, there's surely must a video of you somewhere on the internet. That would be CP, so don't go looking for that video. Yeah. Uh, that would be coin poker. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, it's gonna be raising to 620 here. We're actually gonna take this seriously because I do. I do actually want to win this, so we can have more money to give away for for next week. So let, let's actually take this seriously. We're gonna we're gonna be playing a genuine heads up. How deep? Are we? 60 bigs deep. Easy. I don't think that he's going to play too crazy against me. I think that we're probably going to find some some weak passive, maybe stationy play. That's my that's my uh, that's my assumption. We'll find out. <laughs> oh, you some boxes. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. You ain't so bad. You ain't yeah, gay. <laughs> what are you? What are you like getting sweaty in a ring with other men? What a homo. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with being a homo, by the way. I got nothing against them. We, we got all the love here. For the gays, like boxmen. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're gonna be over better the Queen 3 on the turn. <laughs> boxman. Yeah, Boxman ain't so bad to be honest. Uh, you know, I was I was being I was being a little bit harsh on Boxman. He made some good points. Maybe online poker isn't for me. <laughs> <laughs> Check it again. I'm gonna win it. Oh, I wanna know where they're at, actually. They're on these. I, I assume the really that's fucked up thing is about you being uh, coerced into sex work. Yeah. Charlie, do you think I should try ayahuasca? Probably not, but listen to your heart. And if you're gonna do it, maybe reach out to me and send a photo or, or a link to what the shaman's like, because 90 fucking percent of shamans out there are either incompetent or untrustworthy. Don't fall for their shenanigans. Oh, look at that flop. I've had somebody ask how to gauge how whether or not a shaman is truthful or not. So it's really fucking hard to tell unless you're in the world. Um, generally, you want them to be very indigenous. <laughs> That's always very helpful. Um, but you just have to be able to really trust that their intentions are good. Is that a fucking flush? We got a fucking flush. And he hasn't snap checked. Nah, no, he's checked. 
All right, we're playing two fucking tables now. This is going to get wild if it turns into more double table. All right, how deep are we? I'm going to have to play, uh, play some good poker. So both of these players are now, they've bought in for $0 and they're now playing for $500. Let's fucking do this thing. All right, this guy's been 3Xing a little bit too much. You're not going to 3X when you're this deep. And here's the reason why. You're going to get 3-bet and it's going to be expensive. We're going on. Wow, just snap calls, huh? Whoa. Three. Oh, fuck. All right, one nil. One nil to Sai Caramba. He did very... Oh, no, no, he's not over yet. That, there's me being like, you don't want to do too much of this because fucking... He just has aces. <laughs> Let me just show you how to punish aces. You know what? Fuck you, Sai Caramba. I don't fucking care anymore. King 10, don't even fuck. Take my money. Queen. Yeah. All right, Sai Caramba, congratulations. You've won $500 from Charlie Carroll. And uh, we have $9,500 left to give out to people. So let's fucking do this. One person down. He's won. Uh, wait, we're, we're one full table. He's won $500 for the price of absolutely nothing. This guy's playing on his phone. Can he make? Uh, can he make $500 playing on his phone? Is the question. We're playing tough. Psychorama, by the way, played very well. All the hands that we saw him play. Definitely not a professional poker player, but he played very well. Uh, we are going to be raising probably any two on the button here. Seems GG ups. Under the assumption that a decent amount of the time he is going to be overfolding the big blinds. Especially with an ante. Yeah, I'm just going to make, make, making it very distant fold. Like remember in the chat. What's up, my friend? Nice, uh, nice trap with the aces, by the way. Very, very good. How were you feeling? Have you ever taken a boga? I've never done a boga. It says Dunning Cougar. <laughs> I like the name. No, no, no. You're thinking of uh, the other one, the frog one, right? No, I boga the bark. Yeah, we, we were talking about doing a boga. What's the what's the frog one called? The frog poison, as we call it in the bug world. That's a sign that my brain isn't working very well, by the way. I can't remember the name of this fucking plant medicine or animal medicine. Frog poison, frog poison. I start with a K. Cambo. Cambo. Yeah, I did that one. Psychorumbo, if you want, by the way, would you want? Do you want to come on uh, and talk on uh, on a Zoom call? I can I can DM you the uh, the Zoom the Zoom thing. I can, we can talk about how you feel. One five fucking hundred dollars. Anybody who's in the top five is welcome. All right, we're going to be going for a small check raise here. Assuming that GG Ups is going to be over C betting. Now, does he want to be make? Ooh, this is spicy. I'm going for a small bet on the turn, hoping that he doesn't shove. Putting him to the test for 4,000 chips. Is he going to call? He doesn't. For $500, he doesn't find the call. That was $500 waiting to be made by GG Ups. And oops, indeed. He, uh, he manages to find the fold in the wrong time. Played all of this time, and now he's getting crushed. That could have been, that could have been the game changer. Ever consider doing poker out loud? Uh, I'm not out in America right at the moment, so that'll be a, that'll be a tough one. I got some really cool poker content lined up. And a bunch already recorded, but some really cool stuff lined up. Poker Out Loud is a thing they film in America. It's a thing where they, they have people play on a, in a live poker table. And they blast music through uh, noise-canceling headphones, and then they have them speak their, uh, their thoughts out loud. 
It was a really bad day. All right, we've got variance junkies currently sitting out. Probably want to sit back in, my friend. Please sit back in. All right, I'll sit. I'll sit out if he's also sitting out. Let me give him a chance to come back. GG Oops playing very tight at the moment. Needs to put his money in for the $500. Otherwise, all of this was for absolutely nothing. And somebody next week is going to be playing for $1,000. Do you want that person to be you? That is the question. Playing a little bit too passively, if you ask me. Which size is this? Is this coin bugger? Uh, I guess we just have to raise fucking everything, huh? Alright, Varen's Junkie is currently sitting out of his chance of playing 500. Uh, I'll sit out for a little bit. Should we give him another chance at a hero call? No, I think, I think he's going to call this one. I think he's going to call this one. making out yeah. somebody said i need to go back to my looks that i had when i won triton that was like four years ago i really don't that was like you stepping out of color yeah into like um like suits and stuff I wish I could message this guy variance junkie. Maybe we can give him another shot next week or something. Uh, I'm gonna have to start saying it now. I'll get I'll give him a few few more rounds. If anybody knows who Varian's junkie is, that'd be a good time. Can get away with the small C bear here. Alright. Oh he had aces there. Alright, we're sitting in. Big blinds now. We'll just check it. We'll just check it. Hi. What do you guys think? Should we give him another chance next week? And a nice little bluster against GG. Oops. All right, twenty five bigs and ace five offsuit. We will go for an all in. Just randomly celebrates this end. When you get a shot He's playing so tight. I'm not going to be utilizing so much of a limping strategy now. I'm going to be using more of a raising one. Check this. Nice turn. Imagine he's going to be calling quite a lot. And deuces as bricky as it gets. I'm gonna be calling. That is the nuts. That is the nuts. I would have. I would have bet more than the pot. Um. So he did lose a little bit of value there, but nice fucking out. 
Oh god. All right, we're playing. We're playing against three people. Um, fucking hell. Four tables. There we go. All right, let's do this fucking thing. We've got to remember this guy's sitting out. This guy's passive. Um, and don't know who scoops is. Good luck, scoops. By the way, good luck. Can you join free roll? Uh, you can only join if you're my affiliate, and you have a chance next week to play for at least five hundred dollars. Probably a thousand dollars. That guy's sitting out. This guy's playing kind of tight and passive. Raise it up. <laughs> he says he's being really weird. Yeah. He's just not there. No, no, in the chat. In his chat. Here? Yeah. He's not saying there's a different guy. Gonna be going for a double barrel bluff here. Maybe a triple barrel even. Never mind. Starting to play a little bit more aggro. I like it. I like it. Maybe he's listening in. This one? Or this one? No, this is chat from the table where other people are watching it. Oh. So they don't understand what's going on. They understand. They're just like, it's kind of weird. Gonna be calling twice it. Six, not the best river. Nice hand from Scoops. Scoops played that very well. Scoops, probably a good player, just based on that one hand. Four X with NT. Let's run him up. Damn, GG Ups must have been listening in because now he's starting to play goddamn aggro. We'd love to see it. These guys have caught me on a good day where my energy's just fucking atrocious. So. <laughs> if you're going to play me heads up, this is a good time to do it. Who's been Dix? I don't know, somebody in chat somewhere. On this one? Yeah. I don't know. Because they're like, oh, give mercy to this man. He's broke or I'm broke. I don't know what's going on. Somebody's broke. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of broke people. <laughs> He's like, I've got one account in my bank account, and you're taking me for all my money. Please give me $250 so I can have a piece, but he's taking a piece. Oh, he's like a billionaire. He's just such a dick. Makes you mad, huh? <laughs> I don't think they're saying anything bad about me, by the way. Yeah, they, I read it with my eyes. No, they weren't saying anything about me. Saying to the other guy, don't, don't beg. Should we put this man to the test? Should we put Scoops to the test? Oh, he, he didn't even want to be put to the test on the river. Defending here. Yeah, we're going for the one big blind. And the one big blind. Nice, nice. Should we put scoops to the test again? Yeah. Yeah, let's put him to the test again. <laughs> Just if he's got the cojones. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> he's 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 standing up to the man. Should put him to the test again. Yeah. All right, we're all in. All in. He's called us. He's only gone and got a king. Congratulations, Scoops. You've gone and got yourself five hundred dollars. Congratulations, my friend. Uh, in fact, the only person that would be in is uh, GG Ups and the guy that's sitting out. GG ups all the way then. Two people have now won five hundred dollars today, by the way. Hell yeah. There's gonna be one more after this. One more uh, tournament after this, I, I believe. Yeah. Starts in two minutes. 
15 big blinds. Oh, I'm stuck now. All right. All right, I'll take out the one where the guy's just sitting out. Uh, just clear this up. Tell me if that comes up. GG up. Still going for it. Nursing that little stack. Hey, this guy. This guy knows that I'm lucky. I'm skillful. E. e I hope he wins. But to win $500 of Charlie Cow, you have to be put to the test. <laughs> like here, GG Up's been put to the test. And he's he's not he's not come up to the mantle. He's uh, still folding. And I will let you lose. That's very kind of him. I like him. I like this guy, Fast Finder. Can you guys hear the music? Oh, no, I'm inside. Oh, wait, I need double table. Oh, there's, oh, God, there's too much happening. Oh, that's so tilt. That's the most tilting thing I've ever seen in my life. All right. You know, I'll just wait for you guys to reply. Can you guys, how's the music level is my question. Oh, Varen's Junkie winning all in against us. Going for a small seabed over here. Uh, we're going to be doing that. We are going to be going big. Winning that one. And then bed over there. Nice and balanced, by the way. Seven's very good for him. He's going to have a lot of straights now, a lot of 7x and stuff like that. I don't know. Uh, there we go. Variance Junkie has lost. It is official. Variance Junkie has been given $500 for whoever's going to play next week. Uh, we might give him another chance. We'll see. If you guys want to be in for a chance to win $500 at least against me, then uh, join through my affiliate and let's have a fucking party, shall we? All right, should we put this guy to the test? Yeah. Let's go for, let's go for a little test, a little test. And he folded. GG ups. Let's just go in. Charlie, have you seen Charlie bit my finger? I surely have. <laughs> Everybody in their aunt tells me, Charlie bit my finger. Or well, they used to at least. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it would. But I am uh, not a woman. <laughs> Alright, we're all in. I'm all in. He's all out. All right, so he's not playing 100% of hands over here. Fast binder. GG up, still fighting with every tooth and nail that he's got. We're gonna be all in. Did you just lead? Fast binder, did you just, did you just lead into me? Fuck, does he know that leading into me triggers the crap out of me and it just makes me fucking bluff my nuts off? Cause he because he watched my stream. Not falling for that one, my friend. <laughs> GG Ups might be going for it here. He's only got seven big blinds. We have pocket nines. Now we're all in. GG Ups, a flip. Oh. Nine? No. He's back in it, boys. He's only gone and gone back in it. The mic and music is like, what the fuck is going on? We'll min raise this one. We'll 2.19 this one. Remember, they're playing for $500 from a $0 buy-in. If you want to be a part of this, you can come check out my affiliate. Type in the exclamation point join. We've got to get a lot of fucking signups. So we're going to fucking do it. We're going to keep giving away money until you guys come and join the party. Party, party, party. party. All right, I'm all in. 
He's he need he needs to hold and he's won it. He's only fucking gone and I ba I think basically won it. Congratulations, GG Ups. Coming from behind, he he won it. He fucking did it. He fucking did it. Good job, buddy, indeed. All right, now we're gonna put this man to the test, and he's not he's not stood up to it again. That's another another fold from the great Fast Binder. Fast Binder. The last but not least of my compadres. How many big Steve are we? Is there any merit to shoving? No. No merit to three betting, so we just call it. Yeah. All right. Just about going to squeeze in threes with the heart. It's probably just about a call. You know, he can turn up with King Deuce of Diamonds. He can turn up with so many things. Not going to put him to the test this hand. Not feeling it. You know, there's a part of me that wants to lose, and that—that's the—that's the—that's the trouble. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. Do you like this one? Yeah, I like Fast Binder. Right, it's time to do a shot. It's time to do a fucking shot. Trust this bitch. <laughs> time for the test. <laughs> yes, he's got a test. He's got a queen or something. Let's go. <laughs> he did not stand up. He did not do well in the test. Test failed, my friend. Oh, we had the ace of spades. That was good. That was good. The test was failed. Didn't even think about it. He was like, fuck it. You beat all my bluffs. You beat all of them. So having the ace of spades there is like having a queen. Might even be better. Might even be better. Didn't stand up to the test. Fast Binder could be giving next week's people five hundred fucking dollars to play with, an extra five hundred dollars. All right, we'll put him to the test with Deuce Four offsuit. This, this is retarded play. I know people don't like that word, so I'm sorry. I apologize. I take it back. Fucking retard. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I have this thing where when. I'm not allowed to do something, i.e. say a particular thing. I have to do it. I just have to do it. That's me putting you to the test to see if you've been socially conditioned to believe that words have magical powers that can hurt your feelings and, and insult people uh, to, a, to a degree that you're not allowed to say them. Yeah, I was already setting a four kills on it. But yeah. I know, I know. We'll, put it, we'll put it on the, the stand-up comedy show. Yeah, it's their fault. Somebody says, how do I come in? Uh, I'll go to my resident uh, expert of coming in. How does he do it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, I misspoke. Sorry, my resident expert of coming in 12 seconds. You heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. It's not embarrassing when it happens to a woman. You just said it. Guys, is it embarrassing if a woman comes in like 10 seconds? 20 seconds. Is that, is that, is that embarrassing? Stop it. Is that Stop it. <laughs> Boxman98, can you let, <laughs> can you let me know? Is this an embarrassing phenomenon if a woman comes in, uh, in, in, in 20 seconds <laughs> during uh, coitus? <laughs> Fast binder, you gotta put your foot down, my friends. You gotta put your foot down. <laughs> She's so embarrassed. <laughs> if you'd played it off like it was a joke, nobody would have thought I was being serious. But now people think I'm being serious. Well, they know I'm being serious. Guys, is it embarrassing for a woman to come in like six seconds? <laughs> <laughs> is it embarrassing for a woman to come before you even start having sex? There we go. That means that she did the other ones. <laughs> we got her, boys. We trapped her. I'm so mad. Clip it and ship it, boys. 
What was it? What was it? Six seconds and twelve Stop seconds. <laughs> That's so funny. I'm so mad. Damn, fast finder making a very nice play. I really like how he played that hand. <laughs> <laughs> he kind he kind of fast played it. He played it quicker than Hannah in bed. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> You guys have all heard the lore about Charlie Schwong. I don't know if they have. Your audience is obsessed. No, there's like six people on Twitter spaces that are obsessed. That my, oh, okay. my, most of my Twitch audience doesn't Never know. Never mind, I retract my statement. Yeah. Now, there, now there's a myth of a lore. Yeah. The lore is, if Charlie wants it, Charlie gets it. <laughs> that's that's the lit written in the lore. <laughs> Whoa. Connection went weird. Positional defiance disorder. Oh, what the fuck is going on? My brother was diagnosed with that. What the fuck is that? Is it just being a cunt? It's like. Oh, it's when there's authority and you just want to be like, actually. Yeah, it's like you challenge it constantly. You can't just follow. Which I don't think is a real thing. I think that's like a real leader. Yeah, I think if some. if I mean, it's just a natural thing. If there's shitty authority uh, and you haven't been too, too beaten down. You're gonna naturally wanna deny it. Yeah. Yeah, my brother was diagnosed with that as a kid. Mantras are powerful. Surely they're negative versions. Correct. Very correct. Alright, here we're gonna balance it. Oh, he just has snap forward on. <laughs> I guess he just had like King 4 or something. Pass, pass that one. Good job. A little bit confused about why he's min raised me. Feels very much like he's got a very nutty hand here. Has he just got aces? Has he got aces or kings? I have an ace. It seems very unlikely that, that this is a thing. What the fuck is it? Ace queen. You, you have. Ace Queen. King Queen. Nice hand, my friend. Nice hand. Okay, listen, listen. So in this house, we don't lie about sex. We don't lie about if we have or not. Because I, I did that in the beginning of our relationship. It didn't work out because I was a performer, right? And he's like, let's not do that. I was like, okay. Did you? So, yeah, he told me. I don't remember. You're like, this, this didn't feel real. And I was like, oh, yeah. Did you fake an orgasm? No, I'm just faking the good time. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And now, if it's taking a long time for me to come, that we just stop. But. Yeah, I'm like, bored. <laughs> I'm bored, Hannah. I'm bored. Can we do something else? I'm bored. I came six hours ago. Boring. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. For her, a long time is like three minutes. <laughs> you stop it. No, okay, okay. To be fair, only recently. <laughs> nice but, end, nice end. Fast but, partner. But, you know, like last summer, there was a lot more happening. <laughs> so my, my time was a lot longer. Yeah. <laughs> What she's saying is she's a little bit sexually frustrated these days. And, uh, <laughs> box man, if you're out there. <laughs> this guy just fucking min raising me. I don't know if that's a smart play, fast binder. I really don't know about that. We are just gonna call. Okay, a pair of sixes. Is he gonna put us to the test? I'm just gonna keep calling down. Oh. We are gonna check on the river. Damn, he didn't have it that time. He didn't have it. Hey, Charlie, I registered the affiliate in CoinPoke is a really cool site, especially design looks modern GG like. Fuck yeah, man. Glad to think so. Um, so this guy doesn't know that this is like a weird thing to do. So I'm just going to do this because he's been min raising and stuff like that. Um, oh, fucking hell. Apparently that was enough to scare him off. 
We're back. We're back to even stacks. Me and Fastminder, by the way. This is getting, it's getting pretty crazy out here. He's not been shoving at all, so I'm just gonna min raise Queen Ten. You meant to land Queen Ten. Yeah, should have raised it. Is he still going? <laughs> Where is he? <laughs> Very weird talking about your wife like that on stream, bro. You should hear the shit that comes out of her mouth. <laughs> She's dirtier man than me. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna be going for a little check raise here. A little check rizzle. Nice. Finding the small bluff. People out there impressed with your 12 seconds. <laughs> They're like, that's my personal best. So, you know. <laughs> Listen, when it feels good, it feels good, okay? <laughs> yeah, anyway, it's a, it's a good point about the mantras, but the thing is. Also, with uh, with these words, it's not like they're they're uniquely powerful, you know, saying cunt or retard or whatever. Uh, and it, but the real thing is the intention behind it and the meaning behind it. Because if you're actually saying like faggot or retard with the intention of thinking that oh, you know, gay people are bad or uh, mentally challenged people are bad, then or like lower or lesser, or if you're saying it in a nasty way to make somebody genuinely feel bad, then I don't want any of that stuff, you know. But I don't want that with any words, you know. You could you could have the most kindly wrapped words in the world with the with the wrong intentions and it'd be terrible yeah like when people are saying love and it, it just rips in like passive aggressiveness yeah yeah Ugh. 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 nice hand fast find a nice hand 500 dollars on the line he's still he's still going at it he, he played it he played a free roll where there were a thousand people who game came to the top five just to be here Fast binder, he is lucky. Somebody says, let's go chat, love, love the channel. Thank you, brother. All right, I'm all in. Damn, fast binder doesn't know his short stack play, by the way. Doesn't know, his, he's got a good intuition. Fast binder, if you're listening, you've got a very good intuition for post -walk. Um, For somebody that obviously isn't a professional. Um, your short stack play sucks. It's really heads up at least it's really really bad so you gotta be gotta be a lot more aggressive somebody clip something should we watch it after this yeah <laughs> how do we play the free roll you join through my affiliate link and you'll play it. You'll be able to, if you verify your account, you'll be automatically signed up next week. That's us, Ace Deuce offsuit. What do you got? Queen seven offsuit. He just needs a queen or a seven. He did not get a queen or a seven. Fast binder losing to Iron Bluff. Good game, my friend. Good game. And that means that I win $500. That's going to be taken out of my account. And next week, one of you guys, at least one of you guys, will be playing for $1,000, maybe two. We'll see what happened with the guy that was sitting out. Uh, but unlucky to Fastbinder, my good friend. He wasn't lucky, he wasn't skillful, and he did not win. <laughs> Brutal. Bro, it's true. He was skillful. Yeah, he was very skillful. He played, he played it very well. His intuition for, for post swap was fantastic. Um, I, thought he, I thought he was a professional at first, and then um, you know, I saw that he wasn't from his, from his short stack play. Pretty flop play. Um, so fuck yeah, good job. I think at least I think three people that won five hundred dollars. We've given away fifteen hundred dollars. We have eighty five hundred dollars left to give away, only to the people in my affiliate. So you have to sign up through my affiliate link. Until then, uh, fuck off. I love you. I love you all. Hannah's the most beautiful person that's ever existed. This is all fun and games. Oh wait, let's watch this. Watch this clip. <laughs> that makes me very happy. All right, beautiful people. Uh, yeah, goodbye. <laughs> I love you all.